In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, for our intention in this Eucharistic celebration, we pray for peace in this world, peace in our country, and peace in each family, especially in our family. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have sinned to my own fault. My thoughts, my words, and what I have done, and what I have failed to do. I ask, bless Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Lord our God, you send your only Son to bring peace to our world through the intercession of Blessed Mary, ever virgin, hear our earnest prayer, grant that our times may be tranquil, so that we may live in peace in one, as one family, united in love for one another. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of Apocalypse. I, John, saw a new heaven and a new earth. The first heaven and the first earth had disappeared now, and there was no longer any sea. I saw the holy city and the new Jerusalem coming down from God out of heaven as beautiful as a bride, all dressed for her husband. Then I heard a loud voice call from the throne. You see this city? Here God lives amongst men. He will make his home amongst them. They shall be his people, and he will be their God. His name is God with them. He will wipe away all tears from their ears, from their eyes. There will be no more death and no more mourning or sadness. The world of the past has gone. Then the one sitting on the throne spoke, Now I am making the whole creation new. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to Responsorial sum, our response. You are the highest honor of our race. You are the highest honor of our race. May you be blessed, my daughter, by God most high, beyond all women on earth. And may the Lord God be blessed, the creator of heaven and earth. You are most honored. The trust you have shown shall not pass from the memories of men, but shall ever remind me them of the power of God. God grant you to be always held in honor, 
and rewarded with blessings. Since you did not consider your own life when our nation was brought to its knees. Blessed are you, Virgin Mary, who believe that the promise made you by the Lord will be fulfilled. Alleluia, 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 alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Near the cross of Jesus stood his mother and his mother's sister, Mary the wife of Clopas and Mary of Magdala. Seeing his mother and the disciple he loved standing near her, Jesus said to his mother, Woman, this is your son. Then to the disciple he said, This is your mother. And from that moment, the disciple made a place for her in his room. My brothers and sisters, the gospel of the Lord. Praise the Lord. Brothers and sisters in Christ, speaking about peace in this world, it is sad to say that there is no real peace. As we see in our own family, in our own country, in our own community, peace seems to be lacking in our life. I don't know why. In the first reading, in from the book of the, Acop, the Apo, Apocalypse, speak about peace in this world. And yet, there is no peace. Perhaps, peace must begin from each one heart. If there is no peace, in a person's heart, he will not be able to bring peace in his own family and towards others. And we know that this place in Fatima, Mary appeared to Lucia, Jacinta, and Francisco. I forgot. And ask them to pray for peace in this world. And that time, the world was in, in a great um, danger of war. And yet, as we see that until now, seems to be that peace is still not yet become a reality in this world. And it is time for us to continue to pray for peace. And as we listen to the gospel today, Jesus gave Mary to his disciples. John represent the whole disciples. And he represent the whole of us as believers. And Jesus gave Mary to be our mother. It is time for us to continue to ask Our Lady to pray for peace in this world, and especially peace in our hearts and in our mind and in our family, so that peace become a reality. 
And let us ask the Holy Spirit in this Eucharistic celebration to help us to live in peace in a little way, in a simple way, so that we may be able to love other people, like people who are from different places, dif different colors, different beliefs, or ideas, ideology, that we may able to see in them the presence of God, as we believe that God created mankind in his own image. So, dear brothers and sisters, let us accept Jesus in this Eucharistic celebration. Jesus came into the world to bring life, to bring love to each one of us. Amen. Brothers, please stand. Brothers and sisters, we pray to God, the Almighty Father, who gave us, who gave to the world through Mary, His only Son, as Savior and Prince of Peace. In every petition that our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Holy Church, through the intercession of the Virgin Mary, receive from God's abundance of that peace which Jesus Christ brought into the world, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yes. That the efforts of all people of goodwill in promoting peace and fraternal harmony be blessed and crowned <clears throat> with success, and that the entire world may experience the great gift of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yes. That international institutions foster the search for peace among peoples, and that weapons of death be transformed into instruments of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, of course. That rich nations and their governments overcoming the temptation of power and superiority, rectify injustices towards poor nations, and help the many who are hungry and in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, yeah, of course. That people who suffer because of war, may once again find the gift of peace and concord, and that our deceased brothers and sisters share in the eternal joys of heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, help us. That the members of this assembly, united in celebration of these sacred mysteries, be found worthy to greet one another in peace and be true <coughs> messengers and servants of peace. Let us pray to the Lord. God Almighty and Eternal, you look with benevolence on every person, grant to all the people of the world the grace to discover in the gospel message him who was born and came into this world as Prince of Peace. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, 
Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, brethren, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for good and good of all of his holy church. Lord, as, as we lovingly venerate Blessed Mary, ever virgin, as Queen of Peace, we offer you this sacrifice of reconciliation and blessed with our offerings and be pleased with our offering and grant us your gifts of unity and peace. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, all-powerful and ever-living God, we do well always and everywhere to give you thanks. And as we honor the memory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, we proclaim with fitting praise the greatness of your name. She, she is your lowly handmaid, receiving your word from the angel Gabriel. And conceiving in her virginal womb, the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. She is the faithful mother standing fearlessly beside the cross as her son sheds his blood for our salvation and re reconciles all things to himself in peace. She is the disciples of Christ and daughter of peace, joining in prayer with the angels as we await your promised gift, the spirit of unity and peace, of love and joy. Now with the saints and all the angels, we praise you forever. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of Lord, you are holy indeed, the fountain of all holiness. Let your spirit come upon these gifts to make them holy so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, a death he freely accepted, he took bread and gave you thanks. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and eat it. This is my body which will be given up for you. When supper was ended, he took the cup. Again, he gave you thanks and praise, gave the cup to his disciples and said, take this, all of you, and drink from it. This is the cup of my blood, the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all, so that sins may be forgiven. Do this in memory of me. Let us proclaim the mystery of faith. In memory of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father, this life-giving bread 
this saving cup, we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you. May all of us who share in the body and blood of Christ be brought together in unity by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church throughout the world. Let us grow in love, together with Francis, our Pope, Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have gone to their rest in the hope of rising again. Bring them and all the departed into the light of your presence. Have mercy on us all. Make us worthy to share eternal life with Mary, a lady of Fatima, the Virgin Mother of God with apostles and with all the saints who have done your will throughout the ages. May we praise you in union with them and give you glory to your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our sins. As we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil and grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety. As we wait for joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to the apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and grant us peace and unity of your kingdom where we live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Let us offer a shout of the sign of peace. Lamb of God, take away the sins of This is the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I'm not worth this. When I see the world and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. Lord, on this memorial of Blessed Mary, Mother of God, look with favor on the prayers and offerings of your people, of your faithful people. Grant that they may be acceptable to you, and so bring us help from your loving compassion. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace and the love of God.